Advocacy, Community, Education, Resources, Rewards. Learn more at thervadvisor.com. This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. And uh, joining us today from us and the mutts, it is Lindsay and Chad. Hi, folks. Hey, how are you? Hello, hello. We're good. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, great to have you stop by. I know that we had uh, tried this a uh, couple weeks back and we had a little bit of connectivity issues with uh, Wi-Fi and everything. It happens. You know, you never know where, what, depending upon what part of the country you're at and an RV park and maybe sometimes it doesn't quite uh, connect, you know, we have to reschedule. So thanks for rescheduling with us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no, great to have you on board. And uh, uh, as we speak to you now, you're right near Hershey Park, Pennsylvania, which is a really cool spot. Um, and you'd actually spent quite a bit of time in my uh, my home state uh, where, I, where I grew up. Um, it's a great place and, and a lot of things to see in Pennsylvania, right? Definitely. And it's beautiful. We had no idea it was so pretty up here. <laughs> We're from Colorado originally, so this is all a culture shock with the humidity and greenness, but we sure have loved it. It is it is quite green. Uh, Colorado can be quite green, but it's a little different. It's more evergreen. Uh, I know that I in in um, uh, in my one visit to Colorado, I, I remarked how many uh, pine trees there were. I just there's this endless just to to the to this horizon of yeah. pine trees. Uh, yeah beautiful beautiful state um uh, but pennsylvania has its own beauty in its own way and a lot of uh, really cool things so uh, hershey park so um you've you've got a family of four you've so you've got uh, uh two children and two uh, awesome pups as it says here on your instagram page uh hence the title us in the mutts what are what are the um what are the plans here for the next few days well, tomorrow we're actually going into Hershey to go check out the uh, the factory and all the attractions that they have uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to eat as much chocolate as I possibly can. I don't I don't know about Lindsay, but uh huh. Yep. yep. So we'll go we'll go around and check that out. We're uh, big foodies too, so we'll go try to check out the uh, food scene. And uh, we drove by a Rita's uh, custard That's shop good. yesterday. We didn't know it was here, and I beeline it into the Rita's as fast as we could to go get some custard. So it's yeah. our favorite do is find the best ice cream shop wherever we are <laughs> yeah soft ice cream is a big thing also known as uh, like frozen custard or uh, however it's described um and uh yeah i know it's it's a it's a big thing pennsylvania is kind of famous for it a uh, lot a lot of soft ice cream or uh, frozen custard places in the state um it, it, it's um you know hershey park is a really cool place and the factory is a fun tour because um I mean, I remember going as a child with my folks and uh, in those days, I don't know if they still do it, but they give you a complimentary Hershey bar either on the way in or on the way out. And uh, I don't know, if, again, I don't know if they still do that, but that was like a big thing. And, you know, you'd see how the chocolate was made and all that. And then, you know, here you go. It was like, it was like, you know, going to Willy Wonka's uh, place, you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um so I'm sure the kids will have a, a, get a big kick out of that as well, right? They're they're probably looking forward to it. Oh, most definitely. If it involves candy, they're they're in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can understand that. Um, so with the dogs on board, you know, do you sometimes find it to be a challenge on some of the some of the trips, or how does that work out? Definitely a challenge. Um, we have one that's 11. The golden retriever is 11, so he's easy he just lays around all day and wants to be pet um our puppy we actually got about two weeks before we left um we didn't know he was coming and we got a little surprise once we listed our house for sale so he's only known life in the trailer and he is so good but he's still a puppy and yeah. has eaten our couch and oh he just can't be alone for very long so it definitely does hinder some of our travels um we've yeah. been taking him with us a lot as much as we can but right. certainly can't do huge long six-hour adventures yeah yeah 
left off the biggest part. We went to the Appalachian Trail, marking off a to, a to do <laughs> list off our bucket list, and the golden retriever pulled Lindsay down as she tripped on a rock and broke her ankle about six weeks ago. So yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's how, how, how's that feeling now, Lindsay? It's good. We're I'm um, cruising in on eight weeks. I'm good. I'm gonna start transitioning into an air cast next week. So good for you. I'll be good for the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good because I yeah I it's uh, broken bone is never fun. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's, you know, particularly anywhere in the leg area, you know, you're always out, you know, you just, it, it just, it's, it's immobilizing, obviously it can be. Um, well, listen, I'll tell you what we'll do because we're, we're, we're listening, you know, to, to your plans for Hershey Park, but I'm sure there's more plans down the line for the summer. And we'll learn about that when we come back with our friends from us and the mutts. It's Lindsay and it's Chad. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. Back in just a moment. The RV Advisor was created for you to protect your rights as an RV enthusiast and arm you with the knowledge to navigate the complex RV industry. There's strength in numbers, and that's why we've built a nationwide network of RV owners empowering you with the advice you can trust at RVAdvisor.com. Back on the RV Advisor podcast, I'm Tom Alexander. My guests are our friends from us and the Mutts. It's Lindsay and Chad. They're currently, as we record this, in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania, uh, a great spot. But uh, northward bound, they go. So soon, sooner than later, they'll be uh, heading toward the cooler climbs, if you will, of uh, New England. And um, boy, I'll tell you, it's... Um, what a, again, you know, another beautiful spot in the country. So much variety here in the U.S. So many sing, things to see. Cape Cod, right, is going to be the first, uh, yes, first leg of the trip. Definitely, we're looking forward to eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's food budget for this leg of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're going to get some great seafood up there. Um, you know, uh, that's a it's a great spot. Um, I think maybe in one of our conversations either, I think the last time we tried to record this, I mentioned that I, I'll, uh, as a youth, I spent quite a quite a few summers up there. And uh, if you like seafood, that is a, that's a great spot in the country. Um, if you're a big fan of uh, particularly lobster, um, yes. it's, it's a, a lot going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so where, where in Cape Cod are you gonna be? It's a place called Rochester. It's in Massachusetts, it's in the Thousand Trails Network. Again, it's the gateway to Cape Cod. We're gonna be yeah. about an hour outside of Boston. That way we can get a little bit of the seafood there. We're foodies, so that's what we travel a lot around and do when we're in Texas. We did a lot of barbecue and that sort of thing and made our way uh, all the way over here. So definitely foodies, we chase the food, we chase the climate and we <laughs> adventure while we go. Wow, that is fantastic. Now, I don't know if you're sports fans, but you're not that far away from Fenway Park in Boston to see a a baseball game is that a possibility it, it, definitely any, anything a possibility <laughs> with what, we, what we, we've been doing so <laughs> yeah 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 it's an it's an entirely uh different uh experience i'm sure than seeing the rockies at coors field it's uh is it still coors field in in denver yep. is that the name of it um but uh i know that fenway park is uh, uh kind of a, if you if you are a fan of baseball or sports in general it's 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 sort of a bucket list uh, visit uh, like Wrigley Field or something, you know, that kind of a thing. So that that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, to be in New England in the summer is that's that's a that's a pretty pretty nice destination. And then after Cape Cod, it's off to Maine, huh? Yes. Yep. Up to Wells, Maine. That's uh, we're going to be staying in Wells, Maine, and that's actually the Moody Beach Thousand Trails campground we'll be staying at as well. For that, we'll be up there for about three weeks. We wish we could stay longer, but. We've got to start heading back to Colorado. Yeah, yeah, and um, and and then now let me ask you this: on uh, after after that's all done, and you and the, you, you, the trek back to 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 Colorado, um, you know, is that sort of a leisurely trip, or is that sort of like you know, let's put our head down and go? You know, what what you know, how how does that work usually? We're going to pretty much beeline it from 
Maine. We're gonna go see my aunt. We're gonna stop by and see her. Then we're gonna head all the way over to, uh, we're gonna go to South Dakota, go see Mount Rushmore, one of our other favorite places to go. We're gonna head into Colorado and stay there for about three weeks, see our, our, our mother and what have you. And then we'll head back down to Texas for to winter and then over to the West Coast again next year. So, but we're definitely gonna be lined it over. Yeah. All right. Well, that that is great. And and so um, let me ask you, as, as sort of like full timers and doing this, is, is it anything that you might recommend? You know, let's say we've got some folks that are just weekend warriors and uh, they just like to get, you know, do a little. Are there any recommendations uh, that you can offer that like, you know, if you're making a transition into kind of uh, full timing to to be ready for? I think the biggest thing that we did that was helpful for us is honestly the, the thousand trails. I'm not trying to boast them. I mean, some people gripe about the parks and what, what they're like, what have you, but it gives you the opportunity to go into cities and places that you would never go before because mm -hmm. uh, you've got to travel on kind of their destination where they have the parks. But it was a huge money saver for us. When we started off last year, we sold our home in Colorado last July and we started heading up the West Coast. We started doing the math pretty darn quick of how much it was going to cost us per day to stay in each individual park. And it was cheaper for us to do a thousand trails collection. So yeah. we ended up ended up doing that. The other part is um, make sure you have the storage, of course, that's our ongoing battle. And uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that sort of thing. We, we've probably reorganized this camper in the last year, probably every day, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But, uh, it's always find something that you're going to be comfortable with. We had actually had to buy this trailer because of uh, COVID and this was the only one that they had left. So that was what we had to do. So right. uh, just make sure you have all your amenities and everything that you like. We uh, we are adding on day by day. Uh, yeah. We all, we always do our, our, our top 10 list of our purchases that we've loved for the camper. And so far it's been an ice maker. Uh, <laughs> last week and then the two weeks prior to that it was the clam tent for outside and yeah uh, yeah making the areas i we both own an insurance uh, agency as well so it's trying to oh, find okay. office space too to be able to work from yeah from. i was going to say you, you you are able to work from the road fairly efficiently huh uh, yes and no. It's mainly finding a place. I mean, we do have two children that they need the attention and they're younger, it's six and eight years old. So yeah. it's always trying to, to juggle them with the summertime and they're always around where before I used to go into work eight to five, Monday through Friday and what have you. So um, the clam tent hopefully is going to be my <laughs> makeshift office. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Now did, did it in the last minute or so, did one of our, uh, furry friends come through the door there yep is yep. that what just happened i, I kind of I, I heard a little bit of scrambling <laughs> going on there and so uh i kind of thought that's what might have happened yeah, you know i'll tell you on this show a lot uh, yeah a lot of times uh, they'll make uh, appearances we've had uh not just dogs and cats but we've had bunnies and uh, goats and <laughs> and a couple different things um show up on on the show and uh it, it's it's been a lot of fun to have visits from our uh furry companions um, just somebody that traveled full-time with a pig a big oh, a pig <laughs> yeah you know i know folks that have pigs as pets you know that's a, an interesting uh, uh and i've heard that they they don't make terrible pets that they can be kind of fun you know I had no idea they were potty trained and trained and never got into anything just right <laughs> wow well that's that's great that's great um well, listen, enjoy the rest of your stay there at Hershey Park and update me if they still give you the chocolate bar. I want to hear if that's still a thing. <laughs> Definitely. Yep. And, uh, um, and, and of course, you know, really have, have, a, have a terrific time up in New England. I know you're going to love that spot. So um, enjoy safe travels. We'd love to have you on again in the future. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us. All right, Lindsay, thank you. And Chad, thank you very much. It is uh, Lindsay and Chad, as I said, from Us and the Mutts. You can follow them on Instagram. Uh, let's take a peek here. Yes, it's just backslash Us and the Mutts. That's all you got to do. Go to Instagram and you'll find them. And some great photos, places they've been, and some uh, uh, great pictures of the dogs and great pictures of the kids having a a fun time oh, which yeah. is what it's all about right it's all about the kids having a fun time so there you go us in the mutts all right thank you Lindsay and chad we'll see you thank next you. time 
This is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. Buying an RV is an exciting moment, like buying a new house. You should inspect the RV and the contracts thoroughly. You may not know what to look for, and that's where the RV Advisor comes in. GG Enter experts are here for you at RVAdvisor.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the RV Advisor podcast. I'm Tom Alexander, and of course, joined by our guest coordinator, Neve Carey. Hey, Neve. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing okay. Um, you know, we, um, we kind of think of ourselves as a, a, a big family here on the show, and we welcome people all the time into that family. Um, we, 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 uh, have, we've had wonderful guests over the course of the past... Um, well, cl closing in on two years now on this podcast, if you can believe it. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we've, we've been very fortunate to, to connect with so many wonderful folks. We got some very um, sad news. Um, we just learned about, you found out about it uh, late last, last evening. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, I just learned of it now myself. Um, that um, one of the, the, uh, the glamper ladies, um, had, uh, had passed, had passed away. Um, mm -hmm. they were a, a part of our, our close knit family. Why don't you, um, uh, why don't you, share yeah. what you know? Yeah. I mean, as we had just, just started to advertise, um, that we were very excited to do some new and exciting ventures with them over the course of the summer and into early, um, autumn, yeah, but unfortunately, we got the news last night. Gigi texted me. Um, I've since seen it on their social media page and things like that. Um, yeah. That Christina had passed of um, heart failure. So, yeah. yeah, devastating time for those those wonderful, wonderful ladies. I mean, it has just been nothing but a pleasure to work with them. I cannot imagine the pain they're going through. Um, and yeah, we just as a whole, and yeah, as you said, as a family, just want to offer our condolences and let everyone else know, because as we've said many times before, they had a huge impact on people that listened um, and watched our podcasts um, in previous weeks and things like that. So it's just so sad. Life is so short um, and we can't, we cannot even imagine what the, um, the ladies are going through right now. Yeah, yeah we offer our uh, our sincerest uh, condolences. Uh, yeah, to, yeah. To, to, to the the whole glamping, the whole glampers uh, family. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, it's just it's just yeah. such a such a such an eye opener. I mean, life is so short. It, it can happen a, to any one of us. It's an uh, yeah. It is a uh, sobering uh, reminder uh, mm -hmm. of 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 how precious uh, every day is. But, um, yeah. and, you know, again, a very young person, uh, mm -hmm. prime of life and, you know, yeah. such a great outlook on everything and always yes. smiling, you know, just a, yes. they were, they, all three of them are just wonderful people and wonderful and, ladies. Yeah, wonderful they, they really are. Yeah. We're, we're just, we're, we're very, very mm -hmm. sad, but we yeah. wish, um, we wish them, um, uh, peace with each passing day and, and, uh, certainly, uh, uh, rest in peace, uh, Tina. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tina, and uh, we'll we'll um, hold a good thought certainly for uh, her her loved ones, her extended. Absolutely, family. absolutely. Um, so yeah, we don't you know normally uh, we usually this segment is reserved a different for segment. What's, yeah, what's going on? What the latest and greatest is? But uh, when someone this close to uh, you know in our our own immediate community and and uh, extended family, if you will. Uh, we lose someone like that it's uh it's top of mind of course um so that said um again uh, uh our sincerest condolences to everyone connected to uh to tina um we'll see you next time right here on the rv advisor podcast for neve carizaco i'm tom alexander we'll see you soon so long everybody <laughs>